Let's face it, sometimes your CGM and your glucometer aren't getting along and they don't agree. So I love continuous glucose monitors. I use them in my practice every day with my clients, but there are pitfalls when you're using them. My name is Karen Kennedy, and I specialize in using continuous glucose monitors to help people hack their blood sugar and optimize their metabolic health. So sometimes your glucometer has one reading and your CGM has another, and sometimes that is really frustrating and you don't know what to do about it. So I have a couple of things to say about this that I hope will help you understand how to use that information. One is make sure your test strips for your glucometer aren't expired. They typically last only three to six months after opening them. Read the label on your package and make sure that they aren't expired. So second, CGMs are great for looking at trends, even if they're 10 to 20 points off from your glucometer. Um, they can still be helpful, but um, so if you do have a glucometer, let's make use of it. And you can use it to calibrate your continuous glucose monitor. And I know what you're saying, oh, but the Freestyle Libre, you can't calibrate that, but you can calibrate it in your head. So if you have your glucometer and your test strips aren't expired, in a fasted state, go ahead and test your blood glucose with a finger stick. And then five or 10 minutes later, use a CGM reading and see if they agree. Do that two to three times until you get a consistent number. Maybe they're 10, maybe they're 20 points off consistently. And then you just make a mental note of how to interpret your data going forward. You might even want to jot it down somewhere, right? And you can do that with each one of your CGM sensors so that you know you're comparing apples to apples, right? But then third, sometimes your reader is just faulty. You know, I've seen them start to fall off or even start going up unexplainably in the last few days of um, of the sensor's life. And sometimes I've seen outright duds and that is when you contact your customer service, let them go ahead and troubleshoot it with you over the phone or online. And then maybe they send you a replacement for that, right? And this is why in both our group and our one-on-one -on -one programs, um, they all have nutrition and optim CGM optimization classes built in as on-demand videos so that um, you know they address all of these scenarios and more because, because nobody needs to sit there being confused about this data that they are paying for. Um, so, and even in our Hack Your Blood Sugar group programs, everyone gets one-on-one -on -one time in the Zoom calls so we can look at their data and go, oh yeah, that doesn't make sense. Call customer service or, oh yeah, I see that. Have you checked it with your glucometer? You don't need a glucometer, but it's if you're using one. So you really need that kind of support so that you're not just left there hanging and confused about your data. So that's a wrap for this video. Um, I'd love to hear your questions in the comments. And if you want to learn more about using a CGM to hack your own blood sugar, um, check the links in the comments and you can download a booklet, learn more about CGM. And if you're a provider and you want to learn how to use this as a tool in your toolbox, in your practice, there's also a handout for you of how to use that in your clinical practice.